what is up you guys welcome back to my channel this is Cards J and yes today we are back again for another ukulele tutorial session and for today's video we will be learning together Black Swan by BTS this is for you BTS fan but before anything else and for you to my channel please don't forget to click that subscribe button below and always ring the bell so that you will be notified for new videos and I'd like to give a shout out to the following people so shout out to Familia Untouchable Rosemary Perez CJ94 Ukulele J shout out to you Aid Spack Marian Angelica San Ramon Kristen Sanchez James Fantas, Danica Habla, Meli Carnades, and Tina Teresa Agnes. So thank you so much guys. And this song is dedicated to all the international armies because this is going to be an English version. Without further ado, let's go ahead and grab your ukulele. As mentioned in our title, it is going to be an easy ukulele tutorial. So let us all tune in our uke to the standard tuning and that is... G, C, E, and A. Now let's go ahead and learn the chords first. Alright, so in the chord of G, we have E minor, we have B minor, and we have the chord of A. And if you already knew the chords, then yes, you can always keep until. But hold your horses. If you're not familiar with the chords yet, then stick with me and we're gonna learn each chord together. The first chord that we need to learn here is the G major or the chord of G and that is by placing your index finger on the 2nd fret's 3rd string, the middle finger on the 2nd fret's 1st string, and the ring finger on the 3rd fret's 2nd string. It should sound like this. The next chord that we need to learn here is E minor. And that is by placing your index finger on the 2nd fret's 1st string, the middle finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string, the ring finger on the 4th fret 3rd string. But in my case, I'm using this. Alright. So it is by placing your index finger on the 2nd fret's 1st string and the middle finger on the 4th fret 3rd string. Or you can also use your ring finger, whichever you're comfortable with, all right? And you will still be getting the same sound. The third chord that we need to learn here is B minor, and you need to place your index finger on the entire second fret. We call this as a bar the entire second fret. So you need just to hold all the strings together using your one finger and the middle finger on the fourth fret's fourth string. However, you could also use a D chord as an option, but it might sound a little too different. This is B minor. And the last chord that we need to learn here is the chord of A or A major, and that is replacing your index finger on the first fret third string and the middle finger on the second fret fourth string. So the chords that we just learned are G major, E minor, we have B minor. ladies and gentlemen are the chord progression as well for the entire song so you're just gonna have these chords you're gonna repeat it over and over again from intro down to the outro now since we are already familiar with the chords so as well the chord progression then let's go ahead and learn the strumming pattern so we're gonna learn some strumming pattern for the song that starts with the intro and it is a single down strum only. And please do make sure that it is going to produce a soft sound. Just like that. So I'm using this part of my hand to strum. Alright. Okay. However, if you want to have like sort of an upbeat intro, then you can also use the four down strums. Make sure that it is still soft. for that is a single down strum under the chord of A. 
friends, you have two options for the intro. And from the verses down to the outro, you have two options as well on how you could strum it. And the first one is down, down, up, chalk, down, up. So you might be thinking, what is choking? Is it like, <laughs> but no. Choking is like holding or stopping all of those strings together with this part of your hand while you are strumming down. So just like that. So again, our strumming pattern here is down, down, up, chalk, down, up, right? Again. Just sound like this. Now, if you hate choking, just like my brother, then you could also have this strumming pattern. Now, how did I do that? And it just goes like this. When you reach the chord of G, we have all down strums. We're gonna have four down strums. One, two, three, four. When you reach E minor, then you have up, 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 down, down, up, down. All right? Again, E minor has up, 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 down, down, up, down. And then switch to B minor with four down strums. When you reach the chord of A, you have up, 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 down, down, up, down. Now, to summarize it all, the chord of G and B minor has the same strumming pattern and they will be receiving four down strums, while E minor and A have that up, 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 down, down, up, down strumming pattern. And it just goes like this. So you're gonna repeat it over and over again from verse 1 down to outro. Easy. You ready? So let's go ahead and sing this song together. Oh, yeah. 
That is completely a chaotic play along, but I hope I was able to help you learn something from me today. And thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of this video. It was nice that you knew this song. It was quite challenging for me, but I'm happy I was able to surpass everything. And thank you so much again, and I hope to see you in my next video this coming Sunday. Bye now!